A dramatic rescue playing out off the Fort Morgan coast last night after a shrimp boat catches fire a half mile offshore with four people on board. The U.S. Coast Guard responding by air and water to save that crew. Fox News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick has some video and pictures of the scene along with a firsthand account from one of the rescuers. It's every mariner's worst nightmare and it played out off the coast of Fort Morgan last night about an hour after sunset. It was dark, windy, rough. We had the sirens going, two helicopters on scene, 92 foot shrimp boat engulfed in flames. Petty Officer Blake Berryman and other crew members of Coast Guard stationed off an island shot this video of the Alexander Pearl from the helm of the rescue boat moments after picking up four crew members from a life raft. They had a strobe light flashing on top of their uh, raft. They were about 200 yards south of the vessel. We deemed that it wasn't possible for us to put the fire out. Uh, it was beyond our capabilities. And then we brought all four people back to the station. EMS was standing by, checked the crew out, and all were given a clean bill of health. This is the life raft the crew was found in. Coast Guard officials say that through a combination of their training for these events and the crew of the shrimp boat being prepared with the right survival equipment and knowledge, a potential disaster was diverted. The Mariners did exactly what they were supposed to do. They held us on Channel 16 May Day, let us know where they were. We were able to get there on time and they had the right safety equipment. They used the life raft correctly and it was everything was flawless. A Coast Guard spokesman told me today that the owner of that vessel spent the day prepping it and getting it towed back to Bile the Battery. Fox 10 News did reach out to him. However, we have not heard back. Understandable, sure, very busy day for him. Now, the cause of the fire aboard the Alexander Pearl is still under investigation. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.